hello everyone so in today's uh, houdini tutorial we'll learn a new function called near points so near points function is used to find the points uh, near the position that we give like for example we can define a position and we can find out like the neighboring points we can we can control the distance and like maximum how many points we have to find so let's dive in we'll put a grid Scatter some points. And we'll take another uh, point separately. We'll use add node and we'll create a point. It has created a point. We'll connect these two to the triangle, zeroth input and the first input. Now what we have to do is we have to like find the points in the grid near the point that we created using add node okay so we'll take the position from this add add node first we'll call it pos we add pos is equal to point one comma since we have like only one point we're taking the first point we'll have to create an array because near points is like going to find multiple points and we can all we cannot uh, define all the uh, point numbers in a single attribute. So we have to use array. So array is like nothing, just a list of values. It will have like multiple values. Either it can be a uh, vector, float, or integer. And in Houdini, we can create a array variable like this. Int. Uh, we'll call it actual points. And then square brackets equal to. And now we will use near points, uh, near points function. This needs uh, four inputs. The first input will be the geometry. In our case, it will be zero. The second input will be the position. So we are taking this position that we already found out here. It's called weird pos. And the third will be the distance. And the fourth will be the maximum number of points that we have to find. Zero, weird pos. We'll create channels for the distance and maximum points. And just for visualization purpose, we'll set it in an attribute. I at so for array, we use I bracket the hat actual point. So now if you come to this uh, geometric spreadsheet, you can see we have created a new attribute called actual points and it has array, but it doesn't have any value. That's because like we have given the distance value to be zero. Let's increase the distance value and still we don't have anything like it will find, find out maximum number of points that we give. Right now it is zero. Now it is like starting to find points near this position. So this point uh, with the number 2220 is the closest point to this position and we link if you increase it is going to find multiple points and right now we are finding like 11 points so we got the array of uh, point numbers uh, neighbors to this points but what we can do uh, using this value we can use for each loop to do something uh, with the array so this for each loop will like iterate to every value and we have access to this value we can use this to like uh, do multiple stuff like for example i'll show you how to remove the particular points that is like closest to this we'll increase the distance and uh, the, the maximum points we'll go here for each int we can give some variable. So this A will be the value that we get from the array. And we have to give the array's name. Okay. It is called actual points. Now we'll use remove point to remove the point. And here the point number will be A. And that's it. If you see, we started losing points here. 
and you can change the position of these points and uh, it's going to update so basically we are finding the surrounding points of this uh, point and we are deleting it so instead of removing points we can do multiple stuff like for example we can uh, we'll learn how to attribute transfer okay so we'll create a copy and we'll remove this remove point function we'll get the color value from the second input before that we'll give some color to this point and inside the for each we'll create a new vector and we'll get the color value from the second input going one comma since there is like only one point zero and we can use set point attribute function to set the color attribute uh, to the to the points and the set at a uh, point attribute function needs uh, four uh, four inputs the first one will be the geometry in our case it will be zero then the second one is the attribute name then the third one will be the point number and the fourth one will be the value so zero is the geometry attribute name is cd and uh, a will be the value the point number value that we are getting from the array and the value will be color So this has transferred the color from the second input to the nearby points that we found out using the near points function. So I hope you love this tutorial and if you really liked it, you can subscribe to my channel and also you can join my uh, Patreon where you can download the hip files and I will also release new tutorials. Thank you.